Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob with Central Oregon Living and Homestead. Today's projects, along with the other hundred projects, is we finally got an electrician um, from, uh, I believe it's Northwest Inc. Uh, anyway, very impressed and you get to meet him later in this video. This is designed to back up our freezers and our well house. But I can't do that until I uh, have the panel in the well house um, have a jumper system that's designed for generators to bypass the house so I don't blow the house up when I hook this up to, <laughs> to the well house. So the purpose is, um, since we have our own well, that means I have endless water. And, uh, but without electricity, I can't pull that water if uh, we were to have a power outage for a long period of time. So uh, it's kind of my pre prepping plan is either store a lot of water, which I have, um, or have a way to pull water uh, as long as I have a generator and gas. So I'm kind of excited about that. So let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, we're in the well house. It's a little teeny tiny room and not a whole lot of light. But this uh, circuit breaker is a 30 amp system. And a new system would be put right here that will tap into this so I can bypass this circuit breaker and provide power by bringing a cord to it. And the plug actually, unfortunately, will be put inside here so the bad part is I have to leave the door cracked a little bit to get a power cord in here when we're running this so I may have to put a little insert put a little insert at the bottom of the door so we can close the door because it is heated in here so uh anyway because if my power goes out the only water I have left is what's in this tank when that's gone I can't replace it without the pumps working so today you'll get to meet our electrician I'll introduce him I'll put links to uh, in the description this guy is incredible they specialize in being available uh, electricians in a small town um, they're all buried in doing construction jobs and stuff and they don't want to bother with little projects these guys totally different they want to do all the small jobs and so they're swamped so he's like what else you want to do it's like i have all kinds of other things like i need to put a 50 amp plug out here for rvs and stuff um so when we have company over or if i want people to stay in a fifth wheel i can run the air conditioners and uh i also want to get power way out to the chicken coop out there and so unfortunately that would require tr trenches Anyway, but hey, as long as you got money, just you can do anything you want, right? <sighs> no, I don't have that much money. But if you would donate to the channel, <laughs> maybe I can afford this stuff. Anyway, guys, um, stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll see what the electrician, he just left. He's going to get the parts. And uh, he said he's not camera shy. And they do want to advertise their company. And I want to advertise their company, too, because... If you can get an electrician that will literally come over and do jobs with you and is excited about it, that's good. So anyway guys, talk to you in a little bit. Okay guys, we're back. So while my electrician is working on the well house, good news is the outlet for plugging into my uh, generator system will be in the outside of the well house. So that solved that problem. And the unit he bought is amazing. So I'm going to wait till he actually has it installed and he would be happy to kind of review with us how it works. And uh, uh, it's amazing. But in the meantime, we got to get Sherry wants to mow lawns again. So we need to, uh, it's been, the lawnmower here has been sputtering a little bit. Most likely it's the fuel filter. So we looked up our machine on uh, the internet, ordered the, uh, new fuel filter and I thought I put a new spark plug in it 
and uh, hopefully it will get it running nice. It's a pretty good lawnmower, but uh, boy, when you live in a place like this, uh, one minute you're an electrician and the next minute you're a mechanic. So, hey, if you're going to do this kind of stuff, be open-minded, and trust me, YouTube is your friend. <laughs> You can learn anything you need to know on YouTube. So don't be afraid of it, but be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay, well, I changed the plugs and I changed the well, plug and the uh, fuel filter. Put that in. It's amazing how it'll just change how a machine runs. So Sherry's out mowing the lawn and the thing's running like a champ. So, yeah, I mean, if you're a lawnmower, things like that uh, act up check your fuel filter very first thing then uh, after that obviously a spark plug keep it simple <laughs> anyway move on we got more things going on okay so uh, I'm with Sean here from service electric Northwest Inc right. is that right That's service it. electric Northwest Inc and you guys are out of what's out of what city? Out of Prineville. Out of Prineville. The guy's awesome. <laughs> so, as you can see, we just got our generator system all hooked up here. We're testing it. Uh, and the system he put in here is amazing. So, uh, you also, we had to change our heater out because of, uh, it was using too many, well, it was the 210, wasn't it? This, this system is only capable of providing one 240 volt circuit, and we have two. We have the well, and we had your, your old yeah. heater, which was 240 volts. So we changed the heater to 110 so we could incorporate it in, into the uh, generator system. Sweet. So the way this system works is you actually put in a, a, a whole new controller, right? Yeah. It's your manual transfer switch right there. Um, it's a 240 volt, 30 amp manual transfer switch. And basically what we've done is is we've got uh, we've got four circuits we're using. Well, actually three if you count the the well because the well is 240. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're taking emergency power when the power goes off. Um, all they have to do is come out here and uh, get the get the generator fired up, and then just go from line through off, and then on in a generator. And of course, the generator will be running, and uh, the uh, the load will be picked up by the generator. So, so this system uh, literally protects the house from. Any surge it doesn't send any power back to the main circuit breakers. This is this manages it, all that. It isolates the uh, emergency power from the from the the normal power here in the pump house. Yeah. yeah. So when my power is normal, everything is through my normal circuit breaker here. Right. So I'm still protected under You're normal protected. circumstances. And if the generator was to do an overload, these would pop and control things too, right? That's right. In generator mode, these circuit breakers are protecting. Uh, the load and the wiring, and in normal mode, the, the normal circuit breakers are protecting the load yeah. and the wiring. So, yes. Very sweet. So, uh, Sean's been very diligent. He actually came over the same day, looked at it, and put this in the same day. Where does that ever happen in Central Oregon? That's, that's amazing in itself. The other thing is, I showed you real quick, there's an outlet right here. It's a... Uh, it's a 240 what? volt, 30 amp four wire twist lock. Okay, so the 40 <laughs> so I got to let him so what's the, what kind of plug is it? It's 240 volt four wire uh, twist lock receptacle. Uh, gotcha. That happens to come with this particular system. Gotcha. And it it was exactly the right uh, plug for my generator down here. And uh, so there is no making special n adapters. It was all ready to go. It was like ready. plug and play. It was awesome. So I want to thank you very much for coming and doing this job. He was amazing. Uh, the rates are reasonable, timely. Uh, had to go get a part, ran to town, got it back, did everything in one day. And when they said uh, what time he was going to be here, he was early. <laughs> <laughs> are you sitting down when you're hearing this, people? A electrician that says he's going to be here on time and does the whole job in the same day he does the quote. If you don't hire these people in Central Oregon, and you handle pretty much just Central Oregon? Yeah, yeah, well, all over Central Oregon. We start in our hubs in Prineville, and I drive all over the place. So, yeah, so I will make sure the phone number for Shine will be uh, in the description, their website, 
Uh, if you uh, just want to talk to them and tell them what kind of plans or what kind of things you're working on, uh, give them a call. Um, I have other projects. We've already discussed a few. Uh, I even got them interested in solar. So think about that. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you later. And Sean, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Take care, guys. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.